Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel where we collect and create all things cute. I'm the Pastel Prince, and in today's video, we're a little bit late, we're a little bit behind, but you already saw it in the title. We're gonna be reviewing all of series four today, you guys. We have all of them. Now, these are actually from the pop-up event, so ugh, let's pray to God that they're good. I honestly, I, I kind of looked at them for defects and stuff. This was kind of before everyone knew how crazy they were with the defects. So I'm hoping and praying that they're all good and okay, because girl, girl. <laughs> The amount of quality control issues with these has been insane. So yeah, I'm hoping the ones that I got actually are good quality and they don't have like last night's mascara smudged all over their face or something. But yeah, I'm super excited. I've been putting it off long enough, but here we are. So if you guys would like to see all my thoughts and opinions on all of the series four girls, keep on watching. Before we get into it, you guys, if this is not your first time here on my channel and you've seen my face before, you know who I am, you've maybe seen a video or two and you're not subscribed, I would really, really appreciate it if you go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I would love to have you on my doll collecting journey. But yeah, without further ado, let's go ahead and get into the review. All right, you guys. So first off, we have Miss Mila Barrymore. First impressions of this girl are not great for me to be 100% honest. <laughs> But we'll get into why. So here she is with everything that she comes with. Obviously they have omitted the hangers this time around, but yeah, let's go ahead and get her off the turntable and take a closer look at her first outfit and all of her little details. All right, so here is Miss Mila up close and the thing for me is her face. I think they made a few questionable decisions with her face. So the fact that she has that new kind of like slender face mold, I think isn't really doing her any favors, but the main thing that I think brings her down is the fact that she has such heavy makeup on her bottom lash line. So it kind of just drags her whole face down and I'm not a huge fan of when they do this. Now her makeup on her lid is really, really stunning. It's like five cut creases in one. So that's really cool. I love just her regular burgundy lip. I think it's really pretty. Another thing that I am not a huge fan of is when they give them the purple eyes. I just think it doesn't really work on every character and they tend to do this a lot. But other than that, you guys, her hair is so pretty. It's like several different shades of purple and deep red and maroon. It's honestly giving Mommy Wanda vibes and I love it. And then I thought this was super cool what they did. Everybody's seen it already, but the fact that they gave her these little rings in her bangs, I think that's such a cute touch. And then as for her earrings, it's actually a little stud with a snake around it and then an R charm on the bottom. And then of course on the other side, it's an H. Now moving down to her first outfit, I'm not a huge fan, you guys. I think... There's a little bit too much going on. I've never been a huge fan of like the peplum style silhouette. I know it's technically a skirt, so I don't know if this is considered peplum or not, but it has that same kind of style. I like what they were going for, kind of with the edgy like leather details and fishnets and whatnot, but for me, it just doesn't quite work. Now, I did notice actually that she has one of her little buttons kind of dangling off right here, which is kind of sad. I don't think it's that big of a deal. I think it was actually supposed to go right here on the collar. But yeah, she does have really nice silver zippers. She has the little R charm up here and then an H charm on the bottom, which is really nice. These fishnets, I'm not a huge fan of either. I think we've seen these on Bella, but in pink, they're okay. I just, it kind of makes it look like she has hairy legs. Not that there's anything wrong with that, like grow body hair wherever you'd like, but it just doesn't really read well with this outfit. I Again, I just think it's a little bit too much all at once. Now I do really like the undershirt that's fishnet. I think that's really cute and it'll be a really good styling piece. I think if I wanted to change her up a little bit. Moving on to her first pair of shoes, she does have these really cool like studded boots. But yeah, they have like the molded laces all the way around. But yeah, the bottom soles are actually molded as well, which I think is a really nice touch. Her nails are painted kind of the same color as her lips. But yeah, that's pretty much it for her first outfit. Let's go ahead and change her into outfit number two. So as I was changing her, I actually realized that she has this little bandeau piece sewn into the front of her mesh top. So if you wanted her to wear it just by itself, it wouldn't be completely revealing. And then it is a separate piece from these tights as well. All right, and here she is in outfit number two. And hands down, this is the winner. This is the superior outfit. She has this really beautiful velvet dress. And as you can see, it catches the light really beautifully, just as velvet does. And this is all embroidered detail. It's not printed on. 
so nice. She also has detail going down the side of the sleeve and then it actually goes all the way onto the back. So that's amazing. And then each of these little dots are actually individually glued on little pearls. So I don't know how well you can make that out on camera, but it's really, really nice, you guys. It, it makes for a really good depth to the dress. And then these shoes, you guys, oh my God, the fact that Rainbow High does fabric shoes. <laughs> it's incredible. And again, the detail kind of goes all the way around. Now, one thing I noticed is these little kind of silver dot things that fell off on her dress are just popping off left and right on her shoes as well. They're not that big of a detail for me, so I don't mind it too much. But if you really do care about that, you might want to be careful and just handle these with care. Now, these were a little bit hard to get on because as you can see, they're basically skin tight on her leg and they're this like really thin pleather material. Just be very careful when you're taking these on and off. But yeah, I love this outfit so much more. I need to play with her and restyle her hair. Oh yeah, and speaking of her hair, she does have a little bit of product. It's nothing too bad, but I think she can benefit from a good wash and even a boil wash to kind of straighten it out as well. Now as for her rooting, she's pretty much rooted like a standard rainbow high doll. She does have a part down the front top of her head and then the rooting in the back is nothing too crazy. Totally forgot to mention, but she is a photography focus. And honestly, I kind of wish that they would come with more like accessories that pertain to their focus. I think that'd be super cute. Like if she came with a little camera or something, or like if they were like a music focus, it came with like headphones or something like that. I think that would be a really cute addition. I know they're more like fashion oriented, but if they're going to include their focus and like they go to an art school, they might want to have accessories that kind of go along with that theme. I don't know. Just an idea. Anyway, let's carry on. <laughs> and just in case you guys were curious, here she is next to Winter Break. What's your name? Girl, what's your name? Ruby. <laughs> Oops, not me forgetting Ruby's name. Obviously, she is a lot more like purpley. But yeah, that is our red doll from this line. Let's go ahead and move on to orange. All right, you guys, and here is Miss Mina Floor. Oh my God, one of the prettiest dolls Rainbow High has released to date. In my opinion, she's so stunning. I love her so much. Now, this is everything that she comes with on the turntable. Let's go ahead and get her off and take a closer look. All right, so first off, Mina actually does come with her little separate legs because she has some flat sandals. And honestly, I don't think I'm gonna put these on her, you guys. These little like strings, although they're really cool and I love the detail, they're just a little bit too much for me to deal with and try to tie back up. So we're gonna leave them off, but these are beautifully sculpted and painted. They have these little kind of like flowers on them. There's gold paint going all the way around the back and then the sole is gold as well. And then I didn't show it with Mila, but they all come with the standard Rainbow High comb as usual. Now taking a closer look at Mina herself, this girl is so gorgeous and I actually got all of my Series 4 dolls from the Rainbow High pop-up event. So the quality seems to be pretty good with the ones that I received but I know some people who also got some from the event and they weren't as good. Obviously I did restyle her hair a little bit, so this is not how it looks right out the box. Mina is an accessory design focus and she really came for Daphne's throat with all of her accessories that she comes with. She comes with little barrettes in her bangs. She comes with these beautiful kind of hoop dangly effect earrings. She comes with this beautiful armband, as well as six bangles, which these bangles are so cute, you guys. The details on these are insane. So this little bottom one here has a tiny little elephant. This one just has kind of orange gems. This one has little circles that say, I believe Rainbow High in the middle of them. Yep, there's another one with a bunch of tiny little elephants. As you can see, she also has Mendy on her hand, which is so amazing and beautiful. This other one is just a little chain with a little Rainbow High medallion. And then this top one is kind of like a twist effect. It kind of reminds me of like a Cartier bracelet or something. So Mina is like I said, one of the most beautiful, in my opinion, Rainbow High dolls that we've had to date. Her makeup is so pretty. The eye shape, I think she probably pulls off the more pointy head sculpt a little bit better than any of the other dolls that have that head sculpt. Yeah, her eye makeup is so good. I love how it's nice and like pulled up. Her bottom liner isn't too heavy like with Mila's. It just draws the eye in the perfect way. It kind of lifts her. I love that her lip is a little bit more of like a subtle natural like 
reddish pinkish color and then she actually has orange eyes which i thought was really interesting i think it suits her really really well though i love how they gave her orange and gold elements now her eyeliner on top is such a pretty shape and design one small thing that i did notice i'm not sure how well you can see it here but she does have this gash on her chin. I might be able to like scrape it off, but yeah, I didn't notice until I kind of got her more up close. And then going into her outfit, so her top is this beautiful little crop top with studs all along the bottom. And then on the back, they actually printed this beautiful gold detail going all along the trim of this back part. And it's really reflective and shiny, super pretty. And they didn't have to do that. Like honestly, you don't even really see it because it's on the back, but such a good detail. Her pants, I was kind of iffy about them at first, but I actually think they're really cute. I love that they're a little bit more flared on the bottom. It's kind of what I wanted from Rainbow High because they always do skinny jeans. I would still like some looser pants throughout the whole leg, but this is a step in the right direction for sure. But yeah, these are super cute, super shiny. They actually do have back pockets that are functional. And then on the bottom, she has this cord that runs through the leg, which is really interesting actually. I've never really seen anything like this and then there is a slit on the inner part of it as for her first shoes they're this super high chunky heel with straps and gold details all throughout be careful when you take these off you guys because these are pretty fitted to her ankle so when you try to get it over her heel sometimes in my experience i've had a couple of rainbow high shoes snap in the back which isn't a huge deal at the end of the day, but if you want to preserve them, just take them off really slowly, be patient. But yeah, that is Mina's first outfit. I'm obsessed, I love her so much. And let's go ahead and get her into her second look. And here she is in her second outfit. Again, I did keep her heels on because I don't want to fuss with those and I don't want to have to change out her legs and risk that little wear effect that happens to some people. But yeah, her second outfit is also really cute. The details are there but I do think I prefer the first one. Now taking a closer look at the top, I think it is really pretty. I love these little kind of like palm details. These are like little threading pieces and it does go all the way around. Same thing with the tassels on the bottom. As for her skirt, she does have this cute little bow on the front and it's printed all the way around with this beautiful gold embellishment as well as these little kind of glitter pieces that are just glued on. They're not like studs or anything. They're literally just pieces of glitter glued into little dots, but I think it has a, a pretty good effect and it's super reflective as well. This skirt is really, really pretty and you can kind of open it up to make it a little bit bigger. I do kind of wish that it was a little bit more flowy. It's kind of like a stiff fabric, so it has these folds from inside the box, but I think if it was a little bit heavier and more flowy, it would have kind of the effect that they were going for, but either way, I think it's really pretty and it does suit her really well. And here is Mina with two of our other orange girls. And I feel like she's the most true orange compared to especially Georgia, where she's just super like light and peachy, but even Poppy is more of like a pastel-y kind of peach colored. And yeah, Mina's definitely a little bit more of that true orange color. All right, so next let's go ahead and get into yellow. All right, you guys, here's Miss Delilah Fields. And I'm gonna already say it, she's my favorite from series four so far. Oh my gosh, she's so freaking cute. So beautiful. I love, 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 love that they made a black albino girl. So cute, so needed. Anyway, Delilah is a creative writing focus, which also I love. I can just totally see her in a little like flower field, like daisy field writing, having a little picnic, but yeah, let's go ahead and take her off the turntable and take a closer look at all of her details. So here's Delilah up close, and I am absolutely obsessed with her, you guys. I love her so much. I am kind of on the team that agrees that she is a black albino girl. Now, the reason I believe this is because they purposely gave her edges. They gave her kind of curly hair. I know it's not as textured as some of us would like, which I actually plan on changing her hair, whether it be curling it a little bit tighter to give it a better texture or whether it be giving her an afro. Um, I definitely want to give her a little bit more texture to her hair though. But yes, I love every little detail that they included with this girl. She's just so cute and precious and stunning. She's honestly one of my favorite Rainbow High dolls, I think period. <laughs> um, now, I also love that they actually went out of their way to give her glasses. This is the first Rainbow High doll that we have with what I'm assuming is prescription glasses, and they didn't just do it because it's cute. 
although yes it is, but a lot of people who are affected with albinism actually do have issues with their eyesight as well, so the fact that they went out of their way to give her glasses is such an amazing touch. But yeah, so her skin tone is a really really beautiful like pale kind of pinkish color. I feel like it's a pretty good representation of someone who does have albinism. And her lip, I love that they gave her kind of this red lip. It's not super bright in person. I think it's coming off a little bit brighter on camera, but in person it's a little bit more subtle. It is really pretty. Mine does have this kind of like splotchy edge over here. I'm not sure how well you guys can see that, but as well as like she has like a dark mark on her chin. Yeah, you can kind of see it right here and then as well as on her nose but I'm thinking I can get that off with some acetone. Now she does have these two little daisy hair clips, which I think are so cute. Oh, I love her so much. She's giving cottage core. She's giving angel. I just love her. Her glasses do say rainbow on the side. And let's actually go ahead and take these off. They are attached to her ears with a little elastic. Okay, so here she is without her glasses. You get to see all of her beautiful little freckles on her face and her white eyelashes oh my gosh the fact that they did this is just so cool and beautiful i love it so much and they also gave her these really pale kind of almost gray eyes which a lot of people again with albinism have because of the lack of melanin in their eyes but yeah she's so cute her little earrings which i didn't know this until i got her are bees they're little gold bees oh my god I'm just gonna be squealing and freaking out this whole time. Now as for her hair, it is curled. Not the most curly that we've seen. We did have more curls I think with like Georgia. That's honestly one thing that I wish Rainbow High would do more of. Yes, they're making leaps and bounds in diversity and including people of all different types and shades and whatnot, but I would love to see a different texture of hair. This is pretty much the most curl that we'll get. So that's why I do plan on rerouting her. Now for her first outfit, this is so freaking cute. It's this beautiful little, it is dress, right? Yeah. It's this beautiful dress. It has these little gold buttons all throughout. She does have this belt with the little gold R charm on it. And the bottom is supposed to look like kind of like a lace crochet detail, which I think is so cute. Ugh. I love that they did kind of more of a cutesy like cottage core aesthetic and this is something that i've been wanting to see rainbow high do um but yes it is actually layered it has like a layer of what feels like kind of tool material underneath oh there's actually two layers of that and then there's a layer of almost feels like a satin material oh my gosh there's two layers of that too okay so tons of layers to this dress making it kind of a little bit more poofy and i like it because it kind of makes her look a little bit more curvy as well which I love. I would love to have different body types in Rainbow High. Maybe one day, we'll see. Yeah, she does have these cute little cowboy boots. They do have an R and H on the front. They're printed with cute little like stitching details with a buckle. And then she has these really cute lace socks. Also for one of her accessories, she does have this really cute little daisy gold bangle. I love her, she's everything. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and check out her second outfit. So actually a couple details with her first outfit. This little belt on her dress is actually removable. So you can actually repurpose that for something else or you can use the charm if you want. And she has a whole outfit underneath too. So I know this is more of like a, well no, you can kind of use this as its own thing. And then this top, it's like a little bandeau top with this like crochet detail on top. So that's super cute. Anyway, second outfit. And here she is in her second outfit. This outfit's giving a little bit more of like a baddie vibe <laughs> with the off the shoulder top. I love the material on this top. It's super cute and flowy. It has this little ribbon detail going all the way around the back. And in the back, there's actually a little bow. Like who's gonna even see that? But I'm here, I'm living. For the pants, it is embroidered. But yeah, they're just a basic white skinny jean with little daisies embroidered, a little bee. And then on the back, she actually has some more daisies all throughout, as well as another B on her pocket and a little RH here. For her second shoes, they're this heel with little daisies going all the way around. So cute. And then there's bees on the back again. That little gold bee. I freaking, I can't. I can't. She's too, she's too precious. She must be protected at all costs. All right, now let's go ahead and compare her to some of our other yellow dolls that we've had so far. So here's Delilah with two of our other yellow themed girls and there's really good variation. Cheryl's a little bit more golden, Sunny's a little bit more bright yellow, and then of course we have Delilah who is just literally the perfect pastel 
beautiful girl that she is. I love her so much. But all right, let's go ahead and get into our next color, which is going to be green. All right, and next up we have Miss Jewel Richie, and she is giving just that. She's giving rich. She's giving expensive luxury. But yeah, this is everything that she comes with. Let's go ahead and take her off the turntable and take a closer look. All right, so let's go ahead and take a closer look at her face. So for those of you who don't know already, obviously she has vitiligo, which I think they actually did so well. I've noticed a lot of people actually got a lot of defects with this one in particular, but again, I got all of mine from the event. I don't know if it was like a better batch or something or what, but she actually does look pretty good. The only tiny little thing that I've noticed is inside her mouth there's like a tiny bit of red on where her teeth are but other than that like the placement of her eyebrows are really good all of her vitiligo marks look really good oh wait one more thing i've noticed is actually right on the top of her chest she has like a tiny little smudge of green but i could probably remove that pretty easily anyway so she is a fashion design focus which Clearly, she's slaying. Jewel is one of the only girls in this line that has the shimmery face, which honestly, I am not a huge fan of. But yeah, she is stunning. She's so pretty. I wasn't too sure about how I would like the emerald color scheme because I'm not a huge fan of this color, but it just looks so good. I think this beautiful jewel tone came out so good. She does have her little baby hairs. Her hair is done in a little top pony with two braids actually going in it. I don't think I'm going to mess with it because that seems like it'll be kind of hard for me at least to reproduce. Now her hair is crunchy, like you could knock someone out with this. <laughs> it is done in two big curls on the sides and then her top pony is in its own little curl. There is actually no product in this part. So as for her earrings, they're these huge like emerald jewels and lined with what looks like they're supposed to be white pearls. Her little necklace is again a big emerald jewel with a white pearl on the bottom and it's actually tied in a bow in the back with this really nice black ribbon and then going down to her dress this dress is actually really really pretty i'm not the biggest fan of the whole like fur and sequins but they did it really well with this outfit in particular so i'm honestly not mad at it this dress actually has the straps as those like chain ribbon straps that they do a lot with like the accessories and then her dress has these little cutouts on the sides and there's actually mesh in between it um i wish you could see these a little bit more because they're pretty subtle and then when they're covered up with this fur thing it's like a boa i guess you can't really tell the cut of the dress is really cute it's like a high low so it goes down in the back it's really really skin tight so it fits really really well the dress does light up a little bit pretty easily so you gotta just make sure to kind of hike it down a bit and keep this girl from flashing everybody her vitiligo actually goes throughout her whole body and i love the way that they did it because they didn't just do like white marks everywhere it's actually got some variation to the coloring so some of it is like pink and then the edges of it are white which seems pretty accurate to real life like they gave it some dimension and depth and then there's also some on her legs as well her feet the back of her legs it looks really really good these are her first pair of shoes they have an actual ribbon i will probably not be taking these off because i do actually prefer these these are like some hardcore stilettos like pretty sharp and skinny and pointy but i think it looks so good with this outfit let's go ahead and take the boa off so i can show you guys how that looks so this is what the boa looks like it actually does have these clear straps so you can wrap it around her arm so it sits well and then it is lined with this satin on the inside it's super good quality really soft really fluffy it's actually done really really well and then in case you were curious this is what she looks like without the boa again the dress is a really really nice fit she does come with some bangles as well so she has two on this side and three on this side they all kind of have these emerald jewel details in them but yeah that's pretty much it for her first look let's go ahead and take a look at her second look so here is her second outfit and honestly she would probably kick my ass <laughs> she went from looking like rich and luxury to expensive to an absolute mean girl bully but slay anyway so the jacket's super nice it has this color in this really pretty like black with green tip fur and then of course the jacket is like this pleather jacket with studs all down the sleeves and even on the bottom it has this gold zipper pull which is really nice like you can barely even see it with the fur but it's a really good detail and then she has these zippers on the sleeves again with a zipper pull as well now for the second top it's kind of just this 
bralette crop top that we've seen before but in like a patent leather material and then the skirt again kind of looks like a patent leather but it's got like a alligator skin effect to it and then the sides i'm not honestly digging these mesh sides it i think it's actually supposed to be lace but it just looks kind of like it's been slapped on there and i'm sure it's supposed to be replicating a certain like fashion line or something but it just kind of looks a little bit cheap i wish they would have made it an actual like mesh material and hid the raw edges on the top but yeah overall i think this outfit slays really hard and it looks pretty good obviously i didn't put on her second shoes because again i don't want to have to deal with lacing those first ones up again but here they are up close they have like these clear straps and then there's gold studs going all the way around pretty basic i'm not a huge fan of when they do these clear straps because what happens when you put it on their foot is it just kind of like looks like there's no strap because it's translucent so yeah i wish this was colored also there's like this little extra piece right here just came off though but yeah let's go ahead and see what she looks like compared to some of the other green girls that we have and here she is with two of our other green girls obviously daphne will forever be my number one favorite i love her so much but yeah let's go ahead and move on to blue all right here's miss coco vanderbilt and she said motorsport <laughs> she is really different and i'm kind of here for it it's not my favorite style but i like that they went for something a little bit different instead of the same old sequins and fur yeah i'm talking to you jewel but yeah i like that they went in a different direction now is it my favorite not necessarily but she definitely slays in her own way now let's go ahead and get her off the turntable and take a closer look all right so here's miss coco and everything that she comes with let's go ahead and take a closer look at her face now this is not the way her hair came out of the box it honestly came as crusty as jewels but i went ahead and gave her a nice wash and it actually came out really pretty the wave held pretty well it is styled in these two front pigtails and there's actually a braid going into each side and then the back obviously is just in a wave now she does have her cute little baby hairs mine are printed a little bit off yeah they're just a tiny bit off but i don't really mind she does come with these really cool shades they say rh going back and forth either way when the first pictures of her came up i was a little bit worried about her face because i think she just didn't photograph well in those photos for some reason but when i got her in person she looked a lot better now mine actually has a lot of like smudges throughout her face and like glue marks. She's probably one of the most like defective ones that I have. But again, I think a little bit of acetone could probably fix it. I love her hoops. They do each have a little charm on either side. One has an R charm, one has an H charm. It's cool because they actually look like they go through her ear, whereas a lot of the hoops just kind of sit on top so i actually really love that by the way she is a digital media focus now looking into her first outfit now as for the top it does have a lot of really really cool details so there's like probably like five different materials in here and then she does have this like lace up piece in the front and then she does wear this long sleeve printed white t-shirt underneath and it does say rainbow and as for her skirt it has these really cool like little pull tabs right here and they are like a metallic hardware piece so that's really nice she has a metallic zipper pull and metallic zipper and then again this skirt is really cool with all of the different little color blocking and panels and then these pockets actually are functional going down to her first shoes these are kind of giving the cheer shoes. They're very like sporty looking. They're kind of like a sneaker heel. Now, one thing that I actually noticed was her hands. And I'm pretty sure this wasn't on purpose. I don't know if you guys can tell, but her hands are two different sizes. I don't know what happened, but this one looks like it was warped. So like this hand is like the regular proportions and the other one is smaller. <laughs> It's really weird and like you can't really tell unless you're looking at both of her hands together but the thing that kind of tipped me off was look at her thumb. It's like way shorter than the other one. I don't know what happened, what's going on. I might reach out to MGA to see if I can get a replacement because that's just honestly really weird. And now that I noticed it, I can't unsee it and it just, I don't know, it looks funny. But yeah, let's go ahead and check out her second outfit. And here's Coco in her second outfit. I already can tell I love this one way more. I think this jacket, oh, sorry girl. <laughs> um, I think this jacket is so good. It's okay, it literally has like the NASCAR logo on the back. 
I'm not a huge fan of NASCAR, but I just think it looks really good. Like the quality, it's so heavy duty and like the material is really thick. It actually has like these little arm bands and like this band on the bottom. So yeah, I just think the details are super, super good. It has patches everywhere. The dress underneath is also really cute. Again, it has all of these different kind of fabrics and the little drawstring as well. And then these socks, I think they're really cool as well. They're like a mesh kind of like cotton sock. And then again, these heels are kind of like a sneaker sporty style heel. But yeah, I definitely love this second outfit way more. This jacket, chef's kiss. <laughs> Let's go ahead and take a look at Coco with some of our other blue girls. Here are all of our blue baddies. I think they look so cute together, actually. They complement each other really well. I don't know. Blue is just such a satisfying color. Oh my god, me and Gabby match. <laughs> anyway, I love them. I think Coco is actually really slaying in this outfit. I love it. You can totally see like the kind of progression as well from Skylar with series one and then Gabriella from series three and now Coco. I love it. Rainbow High just keeps killing it. Anyway, let's go ahead and get into our last doll of this line, which is going to be our purple doll. Okay, so last but certainly not least, we have Lila, 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 I think it's Lila, Lila Yamamoto, and oh my god, they did not skip out on any details with this girl. Holy crap, she has so much going on. Honestly, it could be a little bit too much maybe, but let's go ahead and find out by taking her off the turntable and taking a closer look. All right, so Leela here is a visual arts focus, and I love that. She is our kawaii queen, her and Sunny. Oh my gosh, I loved that moment in the show where they both got their little kawaii eyes when they saw the new girls. Anyway, here she is up close. She has details for days. Oh my god. So first of all, her face so cute. As you can see, mine has this huge like I don't know if it's gel or glue. But yeah, she has this huge gash across her forehead, but again, it's fine. We're gonna use a little acetone, try to get it off. Her hair is done in these really cute braid buns, which is giving Angel Loza's restyles, which I said that from the very beginning when we first saw the pictures of these girls, which if you have not checked out his channel yet, he makes some really good content over there, so please go check him out. But yeah, the details on her face are so cute. Her eyeshadow is everything. She has this really cool liner going on. It's like a lilac color. And then she has a little cat under her cheek on the right side and then a heart with some flowers on the left side. Her lips, I've seen that there are a couple variants. The one that I have is like a two-tone and it's kind of shimmery. So the top lip is this more like reddish color and the bottom lip is a little bit more orangey. She has actual ribbons around the little buns in her hair. And then if you're curious how the back of her hair looks, it's just like this. It's so like they had to put the ends of her hair somewhere, but it is pretty well like contoured to her head. Her earrings are these little sakura blossoms with a little molded chain. It says H on this side and R of course on this side. Now going down to her top, I'm not super familiar with the cultural garb that she wears, but I do know that she's half Chinese and half Japanese. So there are elements of both but I love this top so much. I think it's so good. It has all of these little metallic details all throughout. It's printed with this shiny fabric, kind of like the one that we have on the umbrella for Pacific Coast. She comes with this belt piece that is actually removable. And it does have this really cute little like Sakura charm on the bottom. And then this belt part is attached, but it does have this really nice like RH medallion on it. This top is super well contoured to her body. And then she does have her skirt. It looks like a few of the studs have actually popped off of this one as well, which I actually just noticed right now. But yeah, this skirt is really cute. It's like this really shiny purple metallic. She also has gloves with a metallic buckle on each side, as well as this little ribbon detail. And then one of my favorite things about this girl, the Crocs, the platform Crocs. Oh my God, you guys, they're so cute. They of course have little studs and little, what are these things called again? I always forget what they're called. The little charms that go on Crocs. This one has a little rainbow one, a little sakura flower, and then a little smiley and a heart on the other one. That's pretty much it for her first outfit. Let's go ahead and change her into her second one. We can't do the hair swoopy, so. 
out. Okay, here's Leela in her second outfit, and holy crap, can we just take a second to appreciate the amount of detail? Oh my god. So her top is really, really beautiful. It has these two little bows on the top near the neck, and it's this really nice like satiny type of material, and it has these little sakura blossoms in like a metallic embroidery. It's so cute. It kind of reminds me of the fabric that they used for Lily's outfits as well. And then this belt, I don't know what this is called, I'm sorry, but it's so beautiful. It's this really nice thick like satiny material, and this is an actual rope. It has two little sakura charms on it, as well as this really cute sakura charm. And not only is there a bow in the front, there's also a full bow in the back. Like, what? What the hell? For $30, you guys? Oh my god. The amount of detail. This skirt is probably one of my least favorite pieces in this whole outfit. I kind of wish it was not like this tulle material and it was a little bit more solid. But yeah, it is just this pleated tulle skirt with these little like sparkly metallic polka dots. And I didn't put on her second pair of shoes, but let me show you those because holy crap, look at these shoes. Oh my God. The little sakura blossoms on the bottom. Oh my god, there's like a little tie, like molded tie right there. Obviously they have a ribbon going throughout. And then there's this little, it, this honestly reminds me of like a, like a Naruto headband. But yeah, the detail on the sole of the shoe goes all the way around. And it's really, really well printed. Like holy crap. I can't believe it. I'm stunned. Alright, so now let's go ahead and compare Leela with some of our other purple girls. All right, so here she is next to two of our other like purple themed girls. I think they look so cute next to each other. And I was kind of thinking that her hair was too similar of a color to like Violet and Emmy, but it is actually pretty different. I think it's considered like mauve or mauve. How do you say it? I don't know. I think that's what the color is technically considered though, but I think it is a good variation. It's different enough. But yeah, she is our last girl of the series, so let's go ahead and get into my final thoughts. All right, you guys, final thoughts on series four. I mean, as you could tell in my reactions to each doll, I am consistently blown away by what MGA is doing. Like, literally, round of applause. <laughs> round of applause, like, there's nobody else out there doing it like they're doing it and they're pushing it and pushing it and pushing it yes there's been a lot of issues with the face-ups but i mean the amount of detail and you know down to every little stitch every little type of fabric for each doll the amount of thought that is going into the design aspect of these dolls is unmatched it's unmatched in a play line right now but they constantly just continue to push the limits, continue to push the boundaries, and I'm obsessed. I mean, I'm so obsessed, and I think that's why so many of us love them so much. Not only are they fun, you know, the concept is incredible, but literally just six scale miniatures of real life clothing and shoes, and it's awesome. But yeah, with that said, I think that's enough gushing for now. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you have not already, please go ahead and subscribe, like this video, comment, do all the things. But yeah, that pretty much wraps it up, you guys. Thanks again so much, and I shall see you in the next video. Bye!